Hey, what's up, people? I, have, uh, I hope everyone is having I'm a blessed, peaceful, and enjoyable day. I'm in the state of Maryland. I'm just I'm posting this to give a shout out to the UMBC, University of Maryland, Baltimore County basketball team, the Retrievers. They did something that is historic, and in the state of Maryland, we will never, ever forget this. The nation will never, ever forget their feet because the UMBC Retrievers are the first ever team in the NCAA tournament to defeat a number one team. Now, let me get, let me correct myself. Virginia team, I'm not sure if it's West Virginia or whatever, but I know it's called Virginia, was the number one team. Number one seed. The UMBC Retrievers were the number 16 seed. And from what I know, and we hear this every year, every year we hear about this tournament, they brag and take great pleasure in saying this. No number 16 seed has ever been a number one seed. We hear that year after year after year after year. But now, now, the University of Baltimore County will live forever because they no longer can say a number 16 seed has never defeated a number one seed. Now, the announcers will have to say there has been one incident where the number 16 seed has beat the number one seed. And not only did the Retrievers beat Virginia, they demolished Virginia. The score wasn't no uh, 70 to 69. No close win. Now, I don't know the actual score, but from what I saw, I took a quick glance of it. It looked like it was, it looked like it was a, a double-digit lead. So, because when I saw the Virginia team no one was leaving the court crying. Athletes in basketball or in, or in any sport where it's a, a high-scoring game, they usually cry and get a headache and fall out when they lost by one point. When I saw the commercials or the sportscaster here in Baltimore, Maryland, talking about the Retrievers, I saw Virginia just walk off the court and accept their defeat. They know that they was actually defeated. They did not give the game away. They did not re relinquish the lead. No. The Retrievers were the dominant team. Now, I'm going uh, to watch. Now, I recorded it on my DVR because like most people, I just figure, hey, number 16 against number one, number 16 going to lose. I had that same mentality that everyone else had. So I have to go back on my DVR and watch it. And if I can, I'm going to burn it to a DVD or make it into a digital file to save it forever. So tell me what you all think about this historic win of the Retrievers defeating uh, Virginia. Will you remember this moment in the NCAA tournament forever? Now... Another, another thing is possible. Now, whenever a 16 seed faces number one seed, they can say, hey, we can win. We can actually win because the University of Baltimore Retrievers has accomplished it. So now, we, ne we, we don't know what may be happen happening in the future. It may become a, a regular occurrence now or it may happen every couple years where the number 16 defeats the number one. All right, so people... Enjoy watching the rest of the uh, the basketball tournament. If you like my statements, give me a thumbs up, please. If you didn't like it, you can put a thumbs down. I can live with it. I guess if you're from Virginia, you may not like it. If you're in Maryland, you might like this. So leave it. Give me a uh, thumbs up if you like it. If you would like to subscribe for new content that I paste on my channel called Jolly Soul. I talk about anything that I want to talk about. So on this channel, it's not directed to one specific topic. 
whatever I feel like talking about on Jolly Soul, I will talk about. All right, so thank you all for listening. You all have a wonderful day. Like I said earlier, continue watching the tournament. At least the number 16 win makes the tournament. It gives a little bit more pizzazz to it. Because I know they're going to be talking about that nearly every uh, game now. How the Retrievers beat them. Okay, take care, you everyone. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Have a wonderful day.